Hey guys, welcome to NS Academy. So, in this video, we are going to solve about cubics. Do you know how to solve cubics? Have you ever come across a cubic equation and thought that I could not solve this? Well, let's look at a general solution. We have the equation ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d equals to zero. Now, solving this cubic isn't that easy, but in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in under two minutes. Well, let's take a example cubic for our entire video. Uh, let's say this cubic is x cubed plus 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 equals to 0. Well, uh, you might be wondering how to solve this. Yes, before I knew the method, before I investigated a lot, uh, when I was in class 10, I was also looking for the same way. And I thought that the equation can never be solved just like the quadratic one. And a lot of my teachers also told so. But well, now I know. So don't worry, let's solve this. But we first need to show that how a cubic looks like on the graph paper because that necessary for intuition. So let's see on a graph paper how a cubic looks like. For example, our cubic looks like this. As you can see, the cubic goes from up and down and goes up and down like that. So it starts from the negative uh, axis of x and it comes from the fourth quadrant. It goes straight up, not exactly in a straight line but in a line that's curved towards the right end of the x-axis, that is towards the positive x-axis. It goes up, it comes down, it intersects the y-axis at the point 2, and then without touching the x-axis, it again goes up. So uh, this necessarily means that the equation only has one real root, which is somewhere before minus 4, and it has other complex roots. So obviously a cubic equation has only one real root, and three real roots. So these are the only possibilities for a cubic equation. Okay, so let's go forward. The first step we need to do is to identify the coefficients, which is 1x cube plus 3x square minus 5x plus 2 equals to 0. The coefficients in red indicate the things we want to mind. So let's name this as a, b, c and d because this will be compared to the general cubic equation which is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus t. Now, the, again the step we need to do is we need to make the substitution when introducing a new variable y and the substitution is x equals to y minus b upon 3a. Here b and a are defined as from the previous slide where we have shown that a and b and c and d are the coefficients from the respective cubic. Since b is 3 and a is 1, we get the substitution x equals to y minus 1. Making this substitution will give us the following equation where all the x's will be replaced by y minus 1 and obviously all the roots of the equation will also be one more time. That is if x equals to y minus 1, then we have y equals to x plus 1 and the following equation will have roots exactly one times more, uh, not times, one added to the roots of the previous equation. Anyhow. If you just simplify the uh, equation, you get what is called a depressed cubic. A depressed cubic or a depressed equation is something where you, you do not have the penultimate highest power term. So for a cubic, you do not get the x squared term, which is like this. So this is the cubic we get after simplifying, which is y cubed minus 8y plus 9 equals to 0. Now I have again marked the coefficients in red because I want to name the coefficients as e and f because this is going to be very much useful in our next step where we are again going to make a second substitution. This second substitution by introducing a new variable z is y equals to z minus e upon 3z. Since e is minus 8, we get z plus 3 by 8 by 3z. Now plugging in the values, we get z to the power 6 plus 9z cube, uh, it should be z cube not x, plus 512 upon 27 equals to 0. Now this is our new equation and as all of you might have spotted that this is basically a quadratic in z cube and quadratic equations can easily be solved and looks like we have actually reduced our equation to a solvable one. Well let's see the relation between x and z because we are solving here for z and but we actually need the value of x. So from the given substitutions we can find out that x is y minus 1 while y is z plus 8 upon 3z. So plugging in the values, we get x is z plus 8 upon 3z minus 1. Now from the equation, you can find the value of z because if you can solve for z cube, so you can for z. 
and one real value of z is given by minus cube root of 81 upon 2 minus root over 417 upon 2 and whole divided by cube root of 9. This looks messy surely but uh, it is not really a great task to find this out because we are just simply cube rooting the entire answer that we got for z cube, right? So uh, in the final step one root of the equation if we can find is in the relation is basically x equals to minus the entire cube root thing upon cube root 9 minus 8 times cube root of 1 by 3 uh, divided by the messy thing minus 1. So this is one root of the cubic equation which we have solved maybe in under 2 to 3 minutes and in examination hall it might not require more than this. So if ever anyone asks you to solve a cubic equation now you know how to do it. So I think that should be all for this video. Thank you all and have a very nice day.